dear students welcome back again in our mathematics class so today we are going to start a new chapter that is playing with pattern see it's our chapter number 10 today we are going to discuss only about number pattern and alphabets pattern okay so let's start what is pattern a repeating arrangement of colors or objects or numbers or shapes is pattern that means when we arrange some numbers in a particular uh, arrangement or colors in a particular arrangement or any diagram in particular mm. arrangement that is called pattern we can see pa different types of pattern around us in nature also we can get different types of pattern let us learn some real life examples of pattern see here i have given he few examples you have to observe the examples first example you know that it's a plant next sunflower see the uh, center of the sunflower there is some pattern some designs is there and it is uh, the and sometimes palettes are also the example of pattern see it's a peacock and there is a tiger the tiger print no the tiger print is similar means it arranged in a particular way or particular rule so next one example is a frock the frock is not a pattern example but the frock print is the example of pattern the print is arranged in a repeating mode that's why it's a pattern and here it's a uh, lady's finger so you see you can see that the pattern are same now you have to find out more example and you have to write the examples in my comment section that what are the examples can you now we are going to discuss about the number pattern here in this video we are going to discuss only about number pattern and alphanumeric pattern also so what is number pattern when a set of numbers are related to a specific rule to each other then the rule is called the number pattern so when a set of numbers a set of numbers are related to a specific rule to each other then the rule is called the number pattern see for example 1 3 5 7 9 11 so here what rule what specific rule is following here here one number we are skipping one number because after one we know that there is two but here we are we are not writing two we are going to write three so one three five seven nine it's a it's an example of a pattern number pattern here we are using the numbers that's why it is a number pattern and the rule is we are skipping one number that means two is not there so four is not there six is not there we are skipping one number and we are writing the next number next two four six eight ten twelve this is also a number pattern these are the examples of number now we need to know that what is mean by term of pattern see a term is each number or object in the pattern is called term like 1 3 7 5 7 11 5 7 9 11 1 3 5 7 9 11 here 1 is the first term 3 is the second term 5 is the third term and uh, 7 is the fourth term like this way we need to uh, we can understand that this is a term <coughs> next types of pa number pattern there are three different types of number patterns are there repeating num pattern growing pattern and shrink pattern from the name you can easily understand the meaning of the different types of patterns like repeating pattern when if the number of pattern if the number pattern changes in the same value each time changes the same value in each time that is called growing pattern if the numbers are present in the increasing form 
then the pattern is known as growing pattern growing means when it is in increasing uh, mode that's that pat that num that type of number pattern is called growing number pattern next shrink number pattern when the pattern is decreasing form then it is called uh, shrink pattern like 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 that means backward so it's called string pattern so growing pattern means increasing mode and sometime we can see that the difference between two terms are also increasing the difference between two terms are not continuous it is also increasing mode that is called growing pattern here i have given few examples of different types of number pattern here i have written the examples and i will uh, read the examples but you need to write the types of number pattern what i have discussed in the previous uh, slide that which type of pattern is this you have to tell me in the comment section so first pattern is 5 then 5 5 then 5 5 5 then 5 5 5 means what uh, rule is there so i will help you for the first one that here we are repeating the uh, number 5 means uh, term wise like first term that means 1 first term means 1 so 1 there will be num the number of 5 will be 1 second term 2 the, that means the number of 5 will be 2 the third term is 3 that means you have to write that which ex uh, pattern is this the example number 2 is 2 4 8 14 22 32 Example number 3, 390, 388, 386, 384, 382. Example number 4, 121, 131, 141, 151 and 161. Example number 5, it will be example number 5, 111, 101 means 111, 101, 91, 81, 71. So when we are finding the string uh, pattern that time, you need to remember the difference between two terms will be continue, continuous but the series the pattern will be decreasing form and when you are finding the growing pattern that time the difference can be uh, the difference can be discontinuous means first difference is 10 then 12 then 13 that type of so here we will learn how to make a rule of the pattern see here i have given one example First term is 5690, second term is 5670, third term is 5650 and it's going on. So rule of the pattern, you have to find the rule of the pattern. So how to find the rule of the pattern, I have shown the workout in the below. That first of all you need to check whether the first term is greater than the second term or not or second term is greater than the third term or not. In this way you have to first compare. After comparison, you will get the information. Then you can easily understand that it's a shrinking pattern or growing pattern. So as it's a shrinking pattern, so because it's a decreasing series, as first term is greater than the second term. Now the rule is you have to find the difference between each term. That, that then if, if if you get the same number, same value. Then after that you can uh, write the rule of the pattern like starts with 5690 and decreased by or subtracted by 20 each time. Subtracted by 20 each time. In this way you can use multiplied by, the uh, added by. If the pattern is uh, uh, addi addition series then you can is, uh, use addish, added by. If, you, uh, if it is a multiplication series then you can uh, use the next three patterns and also find the rule of the pattern 13 23 43 53 and the three places are vacant next three terms are vacant so uh, find the next three terms it, here it will be find the next three terms please make the correction there, there will be um, uh, find the next three terms so i have shown here how to find it you know that the difference first of all you need to find the uh, you have to compare the terms as we are comparing we are getting the growing pattern so first of all we need to uh, find the gap between two terms 
as we are getting the gap between two terms is 10 so it's a actually it's a repeating series repeating pattern now we can write the rule how, how to write the rule starts with 13 and add it to 10 each time starts with 13 and add it to 10 each time so after that we will get after adding 10 we will get the three terms 63 73 Find the next three pattern and also find the rule of pattern. Just observe the answer that uh, here it start with 123 and added to 20 each time. And after that we, uh, we will get the three terms. That is 183 plus 20 equals to 203. 203 plus 20 equals to 223. 223 plus 20 equals to 243. So the three terms are 203. 223 and 243 so the rule you have to find write the rule properly starts with 123 and added to 20 each time okay i have given few examples of alphanumeric pattern alphanumeric pattern is a pattern which combine the alphabets as well as the numbers see the first term first example is 1z 2y 3x 4w 5v 6u see here i have combined alphabets as well as the numbers just ex observe the examples and write that you have understood so now uh, worksheet number 68 it is your homework you will get the worksheet in pdf mode in your school website go and search it and uh, try to practice this worksheet properly and try to solve it first. So, thank you.